Obviously, there's a limit of how fast you can go, but the only way to determine that is to try every avenue. <laughs> we don't know what the limit is. The limit could be running 10 seconds, but nor can we know that as a 22-year-old. It's like you're free, I guess, being able to, to run and, and feel fast and have nothing hold you back is what us as sprinters, I guess, live for. The best races are the ones that you don't remember because everything just falls into place and then you finish and you don't know what you've done, but somehow everything just clicks. And it feels like I am just too close to love you. She is the Australian champion. Ready and away. Green out very fast. Straight to the front. There she goes, Melissa Breen. She's coming clear. But Breen has absolutely bolted in here. It's a great time as well. Unofficially 11.25. I'm in Japan because I love Japan. I've come here for the last six years. It's a very busy week. <laughs> we flew into Osaka, um, got the train to Hiroshima, um, competed there, got the train to Shizuoka, competed there, got the train to Tokyo, and we'll compete tomorrow. I get to see the whole world, so it's very lucky. It's a, it's a great life to lead, just travel and, and run fast. Mm. Mm. Melissa's a perfectionist, so everything she does, whether it's athletic or life in general, she does it to the absolute best of her ability, and she believes in herself, and, and she honestly believes that she can run under 11 seconds, that she can be the best Australian that we've ever had, and mix it with the best in the world. Mel now is, is in the top 10 all time in terms of sprinting for a female athlete. The Australian record is 11.12 and her personal best is 11.25 so that's 0.13 of a second. When you're talking 0.1 you're talking a bit over a metre so probably half the length of a car in terms of that's how far she's away from the national record and then if you put that again that's how far she is from being in an Olympic final. The Jamaican girls are running around the world these days running in the 10 sevens to win the Olympic gold medal. So when we sit down, we need to be realistic. And can Melissa run those times? And probably not, let's be honest. We realistically set a goal of trying to break 11 seconds. And if you can run under 11 seconds at any major championship, you're making a world championship or an Olympic final. And once you're in an Olympic final, anything can happen. So we need to find two and a half metres, basically, or 0.25 of a second to try and make it to that level. Well, I'm lucky enough to already have qualified for the World Champs this year, um, which is great, so there's no pressure in my performance today. Other years there's been so much pressure coming to Japan and racing and qualifying, so it'll be a, a nice relaxed comp, I guess, to just go out there and, and see where I'm at. So I had one really amazing run when I was 18. I ran 11.33, it was a big shock, it was like a point five PB in 100, which is ridiculous. And I couldn't repeat that, and nor did I run a PB for four years. It is hard to be consistent, but that's what you want. You want consistent performances, and then you have that breakthrough. I can't wait to have that feeling again, and hopefully that will happen in Moscow this year at Worlds, and I'll be able to run really fast and, and achieve great things in Moscow. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I tie my hands up to the Over the last week there's been um, holidays in Japan, so that brings the crowds out. These stadiums are huge, there's nothing like these in Australia, obviously we don't get these bigger crowds, even for our nationals. This is where the Olympics will be held in 2020, they're going to rip down this stadium after this and, and rebuild again.
to come here and to see this atmosphere, it, it obviously just brings an extra level to the competition. It's more just on the comeback now and, and getting through in one piece and continuing on the prep for Worlds so that, yeah, body's 100% for August. I'll run as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> we'll see. I guess the life of an elite athlete is a very challenging one in terms of it's really hard to obviously um, believe that you can be an Olympic champion because there's only ever going to be one every four years. So the journey is a really important part of an athlete's career to really maximise enjoyment out of that journey because I think it's like in anything you do, you're really trying to be the best you can through that journey. You say hard to imagine that in the rest of my running career I want to improve 0.35 of a second. It seems hard, I guess, to comprehend that that's what you're searching for in the next 10 years, but it's exciting to know that that's achievable, although it hasn't been done by an Australian before to run under 11 seconds. I know that I've got the right team around me to get me there. Try